Good to have you on Squawk on the Street this morning. Thank you. What, what is driving oil lower? WTI goes under 45 today. Is it all about supply or is it a combination of that and worries about the global economy? Well, I think uh, the negative sentiment in the financial uh, markets is spilling over into oil. Uh, I don't really think a whole lot has changed uh, since the last month in the physical markets. Uh, OPEC has uh, made its commitment and it's moving forward. It has to stage its cutbacks, and they are significant cutbacks. Uh, it will meet again in March and uh, review the situation. So they're moving ahead with their, with their reductions. Uh, Probably another factor that's spooking the markets is the, all the announcements of pipelines from uh, the Permian area, West Texas, to the Gulf Coast. Uh, several of those are coming on stream. One just came on stream recently, added 500,000 barrels of supply. So uh, as those materialize, they will add supply, uh, but they are uh, gradual. It's over the next several years. Uh, I think also some of the majors are moving into the Permian, and uh, Exxon, for example, announcing its plans to triple its production over five years. Those are all contributing factors. Uh, but on the positive side, Saudi Arabia just recently announced its budget, and it's a very large and, and ambitious budget, uh, spending over $295 billion. So uh, certainly a lot of confidence on this side of the ocean. Interesting that sort of geopolitical concerns don't seem to be having an impact on, on the oil market. You would think perhaps that some of the things that have gone on over the last couple of weeks, I mean, the president's uh, announced withdrawal from Syria, notwithstanding that, you know, something would have uh, put a bid under, uh, under oil and nothing's really worked. Uh, well, we are a little bit puzzled as to what the foreign policy is, I'm sure. Uh, personally, I'm not involved in that, but uh, there are negotiations uh, going ahead in, uh, in terms of Yemen and the conflict in Yemen. So that's kind of uh, pacifying things. Uh, what's happened in Syria is uh, pretty remote from the oil industry, so I don't think that's had an effect. We still need to know uh, what uh, Mr. Trump will do in regards to Iran, when the uh, sanctions uh, extension runs out in April, and I guess that's anybody's guess. Yeah, I raise it only because uh, maybe not of the direct uh, correlation between pulling out of Syria and having an impact on oil, but if you, if you have any sort of instability instituted into that area and the Middle East, et cetera, you would think it could have uh, an impact on the crude market. Well, certainly, if, uh, if that uh, situation uh, deteriorates, it would have an impact. Uh, Iran has cut back its supplies, and uh, that has beefed uh, up uh, prices at least a little bit. But we're also seeing instability in Libya. They lost 300,000 barrels with the Sharar field shutting down. Uh, Canada, of course, has announced 300,000 barrels uh, cut back, um, at least for the first quarter. And uh, Russia is going to come ahead, uh, go ahead with their own cutback. So all of those, plus the geopolitics, as you're mentioning, uh, may well uh, strengthen the prices uh, quite a bit by the second half. Uh, that might be the kind of unexpected turnaround. Wondering how you are viewing the departure of Secretary Mattis and, and how that will shape the president's Middle East policy from here and how the Saudis, for instance, would view this. Um, I think the U.S. military presence in the Gulf has not been affected, and that's what really matters. Uh, Syria is a uh, tragic situation. Uh, I don't know that there's a clean-cut solution at all. Uh, people talk about politics, about military, but uh, I'm not sure that the 2,000 troops that were there were really uh, making a major effect on pacifying the region. But in any case, uh, the U.S. Navy is here in the Gulf. The Gulf is very secure, very stable. And, and in that sense, uh, we, don't, we haven't felt any repercussions from that uh, change in administration. And finally, I'm just curious how you think the Saudis are viewing the sharp slide in oil right now. Brent is at 53. In October, it was rallying toward 86, a four-year high. And, and do you think that this big slide is going to prompt any action? The uh, slide in prices, I suspect, is kind of a, a transition. Uh, we are looking at, uh, as I say, a significant additional WTI. 
Um, additional, uh, also, uh, perhaps supplies from other regions. The refining in the U.S. Uh, at this time uh, may be starting to slow down uh, in demand. Uh, on the other hand, China might be picking up the refining capacity there uh, tends to get busier at this time of the year. So uh, I think we're looking at the longer term. Uh, I would guess that's what the uh, the people in, in the administration, the Saudi government, would be looking at the longer term and um, realizing that this time of the year is a low low demand period. Uh, 